lunch because we have no groceries. So I was like, hey babe, do I want to take you lunch at work? Let me know what you want. And at first he said Chipotle and I was kind of like, I don't want to go to Chipotle just because I would have to drive off the base. And since we live on base and there are like food places here, I thought he was going to pick something on the base, but he chose Chipotle. But then after he texted me, he's like, wait, Chipotle is not on the base. Like just go to the subway. So I was like, oh, thank God. Um, especially because I really want a matcha chai, uh, matcha chai. I really want a matcha latte from Starbucks and Starbucks is literally right next door to Subway on the base. So yeah, I'm going to go get myself a matcha, get Santi like a refresher and then I'm going to get him a Subway sandwich, drop it off to him at work and then I'm going to go back home and put the kids pool together. I ordered them a pool from Amazon because I did get them a pool from Walmart. But I don't know why I thought the one that I got from Walmart was for like toddlers um, and babies but it was actually for like big kids so I was gonna return it to Walmart but I was like you know what the kids are gonna grow up so I just put it back in the box and I have it in our storage room because you know like two three years they're gonna use that one <laughs> store i'm gonna pick up some stuff to make lentil soup later with grilled cheese i don't know why but i woke up this morning craving that even though it's like super hot here in arizona i really wanted that so i actually texted my friend jenny because when we lived in north carolina she made that for us like two times and it came out so good and she adds like sausages and like tomatoes and it just sounds really good and she makes it really good so, so i'm gonna make that today for dinner we're gonna have a little lentil soup with some grilled cheese on the side I can't wait to have it. it sounds so good. So she's gonna have her breakfast while I go ahead and clean up the kitchen. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about. What are you doing, Santi? No, I guess so, please. You wanna go outside? I'm just gonna add some lemon in my water. Um, just because I have this lemon in the fridge, so I don't want it to get bad. So I'm just gonna put it in my water. Then I'm gonna take the kids outside. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found. You're the rose in a like I said the only thing I'm missing is a little pepperonis but this tastes really good just like this too and then another thing you can do is add a little bit of salt um, but I just don't add salt to it but it's really easy to make all you have to do is just heat the oven to 400 degrees and then once you're done cutting the zucchini and putting the marinara and the cheese and the pepperoni slices you just bake it in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes depending um, how thick you make the zucchini slices so yeah the kids are gonna have this for lunch and then I yeah, meanwhile the kids eat this for lunch I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing the stuff for the lentil soup so I'm just gonna chop everything up get everything ready just because Sophia's calm right now so I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can before she gets on calm I don't know what it is but every time she sees that I'm gonna cook dinner 
especially when I'm in a rush, like when Tim's gonna get home soon. She just wants to be fussy, cry, wants me to carry her. Well, let me put her down. So I'm gonna take advantage that she is calm right now eating and I'm gonna just choppity chop everything up. You guys already know what time it is. It is time for an iced coffee. So I just have some oat milk, some French vanilla syrup, and one shot of espresso. I was gonna make two, but I took two shots of espresso yesterday, and I don't know why my head was really hurting and I just felt super nauseous. Okay, we're just gonna stick to one shot. Oh, I forgot to show you guys, but this is our little outdoor coffee table. It was really easy to put together. It was only three pieces, um, and it came with like screws and everything. I like it because it's small enough to have like between the chairs or if I want to put the chairs closer together, or we can have it like out here. So. 5 p.m. Tim just got home from work. Thank God he went to the store for me because I was going to do the lentils a little bit earlier. I was supposed to start cooking them like at four, but I realized I didn't have a garlic and I didn't have cilantro. So thank God for him because he stopped at the store on his way home and he brought me a garlic and cilantro. I'm going to start cooking the lentil soup and the sausages and all that stuff. So I'll just kind of show you guys what I'm doing. I'm not really going to go in depth with like the recipe just because I'm just going based off of what Jenny told me. Um, the only thing I am adding that she didn't add in the soup when she made it for us is I am going to add green bell pepper just because the green bell pepper is almost going to go bad and I don't want it to go bad. So I want to use it. So yeah, the only difference between mine and hers is that I'm going to be adding green bell pepper in it. Um, just because I don't want the green bell pepper to go bad, I'm just going to toss it in there too, so. cook on the stove the only thing i didn't show was that i added tomato sauce i'm gonna go ahead and make the kids grilled cheese right now because i know that they're hungry sophia's already over there like whining and stuff so i know she's hungry so i'm gonna make them a grilled cheese That's why, I'm, that's why I'm carrying her, but I just showered and um, I just took a body shower, but I'm gonna show you guys my favorite late night snack. This is usually what I eat when I like watch my shows or um, once the kids go to sleep. So I take vanilla ice cream and I get a Dr. Pepper and I put it in a cup. So I'll put vanilla ice cream in here halfway and then I'll fill it a little bit with Dr. Pepper. And I like mix it together and it's just like really soft and creamy. It's not the healthiest obviously because it's Dr. Pepper and ice cream. But the combination together reminds me of like a root beer float. This is usually what I do once the kids are asleep. When I go like watch my show or YouTube. Today Sophia just does not want to go to sleep. So I'm just going to make it and go to the room and hopefully she falls asleep. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'm going to try to get this little girl in bed so I can enjoy my ice cream without her staring at me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.